Hi everyone. Freaking wasp. Ah. Hi everyone. I'm Ramsey Jones and this is Jonesing for Food, a channel dedicated to mountains. Mountains and mountains of food. For breakfast, I am going to Purebred. It is a popular chain in Vancouver and Whistler and has a large variety of baked goods. I am taking my breakfast to Lakeside Park. It is located just south of Whistler, about a seven minute drive, right where you see the like button. I am really excited about this. It's a brioche bun stuffed with egg, cheese, and bacon, and they use mozzarella and cheddar cheese in this. This thing's massive too. Oh, it's a good thing I'm going on a hike after this. Mm. Mm. Outside of this, I mainly hit the brioche bun part uh, because the cheese and the egg is right in the middle of it. It's covered with cheese on the outside anyways, and it tastes kind of like a, a cheese croissant in a way, uh, but a bit more dense than a croissant. Let's see here, let's, uh, let's try to get the top of this and get some egg and cheese in here. Oh, I'm loving this, this is great. Well, you know, the combination of eggs, cheese, bacon, and a nice brioche bun, you can't go wrong. Now, I'm gonna eat this all, that is for sure. This is awesome. I think they put some tomato sauce with this too. She didn't tell me that. The brioche bread is nice and soft and then the cheese gives it a nice crunchiness on the outside. It's like a little bit buttery too. This is making me want to go back to that bakery again. There's actually a few of these locations for this bakery. There's some in Vancouver as well. So uh, if you're in Vancouver, you can hit that up. For lunch, I'm going to La Cantina. It is a busy little Mexican joint in Whistler and I am taking it to the creek that runs through Village Park, just a few minutes walk away, where you see the subscribe button. This Baja fish taco has crispy corn battered white fish topped with fresh homemade pico de gallo and signature chili mayo. Oh, that's busy. <laughs> this looks awesome. I just did a huge hike and I'm starving. So we start off with the fish taco because I like the batter to be crispy. Mm, the batter is nice and crispy. And I took some time to film it and it's still nice and crispy. The fish is just melting in my mouth. The uh, tortilla shells taste really uh, nice and fresh. I think it's chili mayo they put on it. It's not that spicy. I think I'd like it to be a little bit spicier. I, they probably have some hot sauce that you can put on it. I just forgot to do that. Beef pasilla is grass-fred shedded beef marinated smoky pasilla chili sauce topped with fresh cilantro, diced onions, and avocado salsa. Whistler is really busy in the summertime as well. I can't imagine what it's like in the winter. All right, we got the beef one now. Mm. There's just an explosion of flavor there. This is fantastic. And it's pretty spicy though, so that's awesome. Th this shredded beef is super tender too. I love how they double wrap the tacos here. A lot of times when I'm eating corn tortillas, uh, if it's just one shell, it can fall apart easily. But this holds together very nicely. The jackfruit taco has jackfruit with fresh vegetables simmered in mild chipotle sauce, topped with fresh cilantro, diced white onions, avocado salsa. I've never had jackfruit before, so this should be pretty interesting. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, it's like a, a sweet fruit inside a taco. It has some meatiness to it, actually. So I can see why the people use this as a substitute for meat. You can really taste the cilantro with it, so if you don't like cilantro, you might want to ask without it. Oh, it's kind of spicy. Yeah, it's the uh, mild chipotle sauce that's giving it some heat. I guess you got the sweetness with the spiciness, which is kind of nice, but it's, it's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't mind it. I'm not saying I love it, though. Obviously, I like it enough. I want to finish it off. Pork conchita has orange and a chote. 
marinated pulled pork topped with tangy pickled red onions. So I saved the one I'm most excited for for last. This is this pork is marinated in orange and a chote marinade. I, I looked it up. A chote is just giving it this orange color. It's like a food coloring. Mm. Oh. Wow. The orange taste kind of hits you later. It's really quite nice. And this uh, pork is super tender. The pickled onions are going really nice with it. I would put a little bit of a uh, hot sauce on this just to give it some spice. Other than that, this is great too. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this episode, my friend Maggie's dog, Chico. You may think Chico's French, but he's actually Mexican. He will learn to make a taco if you subscribe to this channel and like this video. For dinner, I'm going to Hunter Gather. It is a highly rated gastro pub in the heart of Whistler. And I am taking it to Whistler Olympic Plaza, just a few minutes walk away, where you see the like button. So I got the lamb wrap. It has smoked lamb, pickled onions, hummus, arugula, and tabbouleh with feta, lemon yogurt, chimichurri. So as you can see, I'm wearing sunglasses again, and it's recommended that you don't wear sunglasses on YouTube because it's not really like a personal thing where you can't see my eyes and you can't really see what I'm thinking. I just don't like that sun right in my eyes. Honestly, I think it looks kind of sweet. Anyways, I just got stunned just before this food review. So I'm in a bit of pain right now, but I'm okay with that. You know why? Because last time I got stunned, I was in San Francisco and I was walking back from Mirror Woods. And on the way back, the time was like 4.20. I was feeling a little tired for some reason. And all of a sudden I felt this pain right on my ankle. Same, I got stunned on the ankle this was last time too. So right on my ankle, I got this, felt this pain, like a sharp pain. And there was this like small family with little kids that were right beside me. I felt a little bit bad. Let's just say some non-friendly YouTube words came out of my mouth. And it was just a sharp pain, but it woke me right up because I was a little bit tired. You know what? I felt like that guy off Black Mirror that kind of enjoyed the pain. It's, it's all about mindset. It's always, a, it's always about how you can trick your mind to make you think a certain way so you feel good about what's going on at that point. This is not a self-help type channel. This is a eating channel. Oh, there's so many flavors there. The lamb's a little cold because maybe I just talked too long, but it's kind of warm outside, so it's a little cold, but it's super tender. That homemade hummus that they make there is amazing. The lemon yogurt and the chimichurri adds a ton to this wrap. It's not the softest wrap, but it, it, it's pretty decent. And the cucumber gives it some nice crunch as well. Oh, I am forgetting about this waft steam because this is so good. The feta adds a lot of savoriness to this as well. The arugula adds some crunch, which is nice. Ooh, yeah, we'll be finishing this. Mm -hmm. So apparently this coleslaw at Hunter Douglas, I mean Hunter Gatherer, honestly, like I don't really pay too much attention to the name of the restaurant. I'm just picking out whatever I wanted to eat. I want to make this fun for me as well. I just travel a lot and I eat a lot of food. I just thought it'd be fun to put on YouTube. The reason why this coleslaw has a lot of controversy is they put vinegar in it, which is kind of sweet. I don't know. I'm no coleslaw expert. I'm not really a fork expert either. Okay, this is kind of hanging. We can do it. Mm. Mm. I get what they mean. There's may no mayonnaise in this. So it's a very bitter flavor in the coleslaw. It's just vinegar. Apparently half the people like this and half don't like this. I'm going with the half that don't like this. There's too much bitter flavors in this coleslaw. I can see how it, people do like it in a way because it's quite refreshing. 
The ingredients seem really fresh. They're really crispy, and it, it does seem like a good coleslaw. I'm still eating it, though. I'm still kind of liking it. I think I need more vegetables in my life. I've been eating so unhealthy lately for some reason. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jonesing for Food. And remember, remember like you would remember a Doritos bag when you go hiking, just in case you encounter a bear. So he's not jonesing for you. Yeah.